Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and today we're going to go over a brand new problem that's popped up in the macOS Catalina 10.15.7 update. If you use iCloud for Drive to sync your files, the Keychain, Mail, Calendar, or if you use internet accounts for Gmail, or Exchange, or Yahoo Mail, you could be having a pretty big problem right now. The Accounts D process, which takes care of account syncing, could be using up to 400% of your CPU and slowing down your system. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what's going on, I'm gonna talk about the problem, I'm gonna talk about some of the user reports that are coming in, and then I'm gonna show you a bunch of fixes and workarounds that hopefully will fix the issue for you if you're having it. Uh, let's get started. This is the article that I just posted tonight um, going over um, the main issues uh, for this, this problem. Um, as I kind of said in the, in the introduction, is it's not affecting everybody. It's only affecting the users that seem to be using iCloud uh, Drive and have had all those accounts set up before they made the jump to 10.15.7. So um, the issue that's happening is, is if you're signed in to those accounts, you could immediately start having problems as soon as the, the reboot happens and you're back uh, into the operating system you'll notice that the system will start to become really slow. You'll hear the fans spin up. The system will start to heat up. If you're using battery, the battery will start to deplete very fast. So what do you do, right? You, you Normally in those situations, you'll fire up the activity monitor and see what's going on. Um, so let's take a look at that right now. So you feel, you'll fire up the activity monitor. You can put it on the CPU, and then you can, and you can sort it by the percentage up here. You just click this button. You can go up or down. And then you'll see, like right now, this system's running just fine. Uh, you can see that just the, the recording app that I'm using is only using about 40%, and that's fine. But you'll see accounts D using up to 400% or more, and that's definitely slowing down to your system. So let's go down here. I've got the, um, and I, I've got a screenshot of what that kind of looks like. And you can see here uh, the accounts D process. So if you search in the search bar of Activity Monitor, you can actually search for any process that's running on your Mac. So if you search for account D, you can see that it's immediately using, look, 419% CPU. So you can tell that this is going to be really starting to slow down your machine and start having some problems. So the affected build versions. Um, what's interesting about this one is I actually wrote up this, this article over the weekend and I kind of paused a little bit because I just wasn't getting a full sense of the overall picture of this issue. Um, the main culprit right now is that is to after updating to 10.15.7. Probably 80 to 90 percent of the users that updated 10.15.7 that are having this issue, it, 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 they've reported this happening after the 10.15.7 update. A couple of users actually reported early in the week that they were having this on 10.15.6 and magically after installing the 10.15.7 update, they don't have it anymore. So it's a little bit weird in that situation, but if you're one of those users that are on 10.15.6, there's there's no hurting going to 10.15.7 if you're already having the issue. So give it a shot. I've actually got that in the workarounds below. But there's also no reports of this happening in Mojave 10.14 or High Sierra 10.13. The, and then I've got a little section here that when I was doing my research, there was actually a variant of the same problem going all the way back to the 10.15.1 update. And from what I can tell, that's disappeared and it's only started to come back this week after installing the 10.15.6 or the 10.15.7 update. Affected hardware? Any Mac. There's no specialized hardware that is causing this issue this time around. What is the accounts D process? So I, I figured who's better to tell us what that is than Apple themselves. Going to the Apple developer documentation, I'll read what this says here. Helping users access, manage their external accounts from within your app without requiring them to enter in login credentials. So the account frameworks provides access to user accounts stored in the account database, which is managed by the system. An account stores the login credentials in a particular service such as Twitter, and they use those credentials to authenticate with the service. When you integrate the accounts framework into your app, you don't need to store the logins yourself. Instead, the user grants the app access to the login credentials, bypassing the need for their username and password. If no account for a particular service exists in the user's account database, then let them create and save an account within your app. So that's what's, at, what's happening with, with the uh, internet accounts, the iCloud, and uh, that's using the accounts D framework or the accounts framework to be able to store those in the local items keychain. Um, 
Let's see here. Well, let's jump into some of these user reports. We've got multiple user reports coming in from Apple's discussion forums and Mac rumors. They can go over those below. But one of the things I always try to do when I go and run into these issues is that I try to replicate the issue every single time. If I can replicate this, I can give you guys the, the best information possible. Unfortunately, in this particular situation, I have not been able to replicate, replicate it. I install 1015.6 on a, on a laptop. I set up iCloud Drive, mail, and calendar. Then I made the jump from 1015 to 1015.7s, and I test the settings, and I couldn't do it. Um, that's sometimes how it works. And sometimes it's only it only affects certain users. But when it happens, it affects, uh, when, when we're talking about millions of macOS users here, a large subset of, of people can have these issues and just they need they need help so they what do they do they jump onto all the forums they jump onto twitter and they say hey i've got this issue i need help with this so this is kind of how this happened and i had I, during the research those are the those are the reports that i look into um solid reports of the issue multiple reports saying the same thing over and over not variant reports that could be throwing us off of the, the ball here so Let's jump right into the workaround and fixes. Let's say you've installed the 10.15.7 update and you're having this issue now and you're like, I can't work. I've seen multiple reports of people saying, hey, listen, I, I, can't, even, I can't even do my work. I, I have an exam tomorrow. I can't even do my school stuff. So hopefully some of these workarounds can get you going here. What I did on this particular set of workarounds is I went from the simplest fix that has been confirmed somewhere by a user all the way until the more advanced ones. So the idea of this list is start at the very top. Do the, do the simplest things first, and, and some of the things have worked. Like the first one here, it just says reboot. Um, interesting enough, there's multiple reports that say all I needed to do was restart the computer. And don't get me wrong, if you're here, you've probably already rebooted the system. But if you haven't, give it a shot. The second one, cycle Wi-Fi off and back on. Again, this seems like a super simple thing here, but multiple users have reported that just cycling their, their internet connection on somehow breaks that and makes that connection re, re, reconnect again and, and everything's fine. Um, the third one, and this one seems to be the biggest one that fixes uh, most users, sign out of iCloud and then reboot your system. So let's do that, I wanna show you that. So you should probably already know because if you're signed in iCloud, but let's let's open up. I've got a test box here that uh, we can take a look at here with 10.15.7 on it. Let me see if I can wake it up here, log in. And as you can see, I've got mail up. I've got my, I'm signed in iCloud. I've got iCal synced. I've got a test meeting here. Um, if we go into the settings, we'll go into system preferences. We can go into internet accounts to reach those settings and click on iCloud. And then we can see all the things that I'm signed in on here. Um, we can see the details of the account. But if we go back into Apple ID, all I need to do is sign out. I can click on iCloud and overview. I think it is over and hit sign out. Boom, I'm done. I'm out. And then reboot. And then see what happens. Go to your activity monitor. Go here. Go to your activity monitor. Type in accounts D. And here it is. Here's the accounts D. Is your CPO dropped? It, this is this is this, a working 10.15.7 system, and look, I'm barely using any CPU. This is what you should see. So let's say you do that and you reboot, and it's still high, right? Let's go to the next thing. Um, I've got boot into safe mode one time. What is safe mode? Safe mode boots your Mac up at a very, very minimal state. It boots up with no extensions, no launch daemons, no launch agents to basically build, to try to boot your system in, into a situation where it, it's loaded the, the least things possible. So if there is a problem causing uh, like a launch daemon or a startup app, it doesn't launch it. So you won't see the problem and you, you'll know and then you can remove that. If you follow this link here, this will bring you to at what Apple says happens in the safe mode. If you click on this part right here, it says safe mode can help you resolve or isolate problem you're having with your Mac. If you start up in safe mode, your Mac prevents some software such as startup items from loading and performs a check on your startup disk. That's critical too. Maybe there's a problem with the startup disk and that check can fix it. So again, this is a, one of those issues that, that's like, hey, you know, maybe I've tried it or, uh, already, but again, this is a confirmed 
uh, fix for some users that have run the, uh, booted in safe mode, rebooted back into Mac OS, and has fixed the issues. Um, number five, are you on 10.15.6 and you're having the issue? There's been multiple reports that just updating the 10.15.7 fixes the issue for them. Um, let's go into the next one, disable I, iCloud Drive options. So let's go back to that system again and, and take a look at that. So let's go back into those options in iCloud. And you can see once we're in iCloud Drive, it's saying that you want to be able to disable the, these, these syncing things. So if you have like desktop and documents, uncheck it. If you've got mail, uncheck it. If you've got system preferences, check it and then hit done. Now keep in mind, signing out is kind of the same thing that we did before. But again, this is a particular one that was called out to do um, for this, this particular step. And then the number seven was to sign out all, all of the internet accounts. So let's go back there and look at that and the internet account. So this is if you have, uh, oops, let's go back here. If you got, for example, a Google or Exchange or a Yahoo email, you'll see that in here once you've set those up. And that's basically saying to sign out of those. So you click that and you remove that and then reboot and try again. That's that last kind of fix there in these um, these easy ones. The, the next ones are kind of medium skill levels where you actually have to navigate to your user home folder to delete some preferences and some of the mail stores. So this number seven is to delete the local mail store of mail and the preferences. It's saying to dis the, the reports are saying to disable the iCloud mail sync first, which we already showed you how to do, and then delete users, your home folder here, library mail. So let's take a look at that. I've got that right here. So you can see here that I've got um, library, uh, your user folder, and then mail. And then delete this folder. Right click, move to trash, done, reboot. The next one to do is the containers folder. So you can see here users, your user home folder, library, containers, Apple Mail. Delete this folder right here. Right click, move the trash, done, reboot. Um, and that that's fix number seven. Number eight is to delete your local items keychain folder. What is that? That's what stores all your iCloud stuff. So let's take a look at that. Go back here and we'll open up Keychain. And this is your login Keychain. These are keeping all your, um, all of your passwords for accounts and different things. But the local items thing you can see is a bunch of iCloud stuff in here. So you can see iCloud Drive and stuff like that stored in here. Uh, yeah, iCloud Keychain, stuff like that. So the idea is, is that we're clearing this out. So how do we do that, right? Um, let's open up a new window. And let's go to go to library keychains. Keychains. And when you get in here, you're going to see multiple folders in here, right? Oops, I'm sorry. I did. I needed to go to library, my user folder. To do that, do a squiggly line, and that'll bring you to your library folder. I, I brought us to the system folder. So that's a little tip if you didn't know that. Um, keychains. Now we're in the right place. This right here is your login keychain. If you delete this, it actually deletes your login keychain right here. That'll delete this, all these items in here if you delete this right here. That's the actual database. This right here, this like UUID type folder, is your local items keychain that keeps all these pieces in here. So what the, what the fix is saying is that it something gets corrupted in here and then you, you reboot and this rebuilds itself. So right click on this, delete, restart, done. And see if the issue comes back. And that is um, fix number eight. Now, hopefully by now, we're, we're fixed, right? We, we, one of these fixes have fixed us at this point because the next ones are a little bit advanced. And when I say advanced, I'm not like, it's, I'm saying that it's, it's more technical. I'm saying that we're, we're having to jump to more uh, serious type fixes where we might have to reinstall the operating system, right? Um, number nine, 
time machine backup. Do you have a time machine backup? Then you are already set because you can just jump right back to a, to a good time machine backup. Boom, you're ready to go. If not, then we then we're, we're running kind of out of options here. I'm not saying that Apple might not release a fix and maybe pull the update and pull out a fix, but you know, it's been a it's been almost a week now and I'm not, I'm not seeing it. It it might not happen. So you might be stuck to reinstall and and keep in mind number 10 is just reinstall not erase so when you reinstall you're only going to be reinstalling over the top of your current operating system all your files all your folders will still be there so it's not as bad as like erasing the entire drive that's the that's like number 11 that's like the final one you want to do and hopefully you're not even gonna have to do that so again, if it comes to it, you can reinstall different ways. You can just download the installer from the App Store and just and double click and install that way. Or you can just reboot your Mac, Command R, boot to recovery, and then just don't erase the disk. Just click, you know, start uh, or reinstall Mac OS Catalina. And boom, it'll download Catalina from uh, Apple Software Update Server and reinstall over the top. And hopefully you're fixed by that. And that's about it, guys. Um, I'm hoping that at least one of these fixes ha has helped you. Um, this is a pretty bad issue when, when a process can bring the system down to, to almost a crawl. And a lot of people were saying, well, oh, just kill the process. And, they, and some people did, and then they would just jump right back in. Um, the other problem is, is if even if the, the, the logging out of iCloud works, and then you log back in and it still doesn't work, that's kind of a pain. You still want to be able to use iCloud. That's a feature of Mac OS. So that's not real, a real fix. I'm hoping that Apple will come out with here with something to give some relief here. The only way to let them, you got to let them know. If you're having this issue, send Apple a contact. You know, shoot them a tweet. You know, send a, a support ticket. Call Apple Care. Let them know. That's the only way this stuff's going to be addressed. If, if not enough people call Apple and get enough built up momentum in the support system this won't be prioritized so again if you're having it reach out to apple let them know um what's going on here again i hope something here that we did tonight where it was able to help you out i appreciate i always appreciate the watch watches if you have any questions on any of these leave leave a comment i will respond to you i'll give you some answers if you're having problems with one of these if something worked let me know in the comments it would be great because other people will come here and they'll say hey look you know multiple commenters said hey these fixes work or this one fix worked for them so um like i said leave a comment i really appreciate watching and you guys have a good night and we'll see you in the next video